I mean, our job is not to go, oh, absolutely don't carry that. Our job is to help you, maybe help you make some decisions. Right. And, as, and um, so as much as you're willing to show us, we are willing to guide and help. And I, th I think we can do that. Thank you. So should we sit on, on the outside? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. First, I have my uh, little pad here that I use for when I stop. I just throw it on the ground so I can protect my pack. I have a sit pad and it goes under my mattress at night so it doesn't slip and slide. Uh, extra water bottles. Dual purpose. Yeah, extra water bottles. This will be a thumbs up or a thumbs down exercise. Uh, my three liter uh, be free water filter. A hat, my security, uh, my safety scarf. Um, that was for something I don't recall. Oh, I put my water filter in that. And yeah, I, I really love these these double pocket. It's Outdoor Vitals. This I love this pack except. They put this zipper down the middle so you can get onto the inside. But everyone that I know uses a pack liner, so it, it's... Oh, that does kind of defeat the purpose. It does. My mattress pad. Check. Here I have some... Waterproof socks, gloves, water mittens, rain mittens, and uh, there's a pair of possum gloves in there, uh, wool possum gloves. Oh no, hold on, let's use your mat. Okay. Let's use your mat because <laughs> how many, what we want to find out is have you doubled up on anything? So you have, these are glove liners. Yeah, and mittens, and what are the what are the gloves inside? Um, the possum gloves, okay. the wool gloves. Oh, okay. Which have I, you used these? I have. Okay. What do you think of them? I love them. Okay. I love them. Good. I'm I'm thinking of those for when I get wet feet and it's cold out. Mm -hmm. You know what? We have failed. We have failed you already. Okay. Is there something you are not sure about? in here that you want to show us as you go along? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. All right. I have my first comment. <laughs> All right, not yet. Okay. My first comment, I do think you're doubling up here. Okay, yeah, those do not keep my hands warm at all, so they, they could they can probably go. Yeah, they're horrible. We, we need a to-go pile, yeah. So you want these? <laughs> yeah, there's, but I do need warmer gloves than those. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean. Are, yeah, oh, they're down, are they yeah. Warm? The possum ones, yeah. Okay. They're terrible. They're terrible. Okay, great. Well, they work yeah. for me until it's really cold out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they worked for you. Wow. So right now, I. What do we got here? That is my rain jacket and rain pants. Okay. Okay. So I gotta have those. Gotta have that. That's in the state pile. Um, do I have too many water bottles? For the AT, you probably do. But you've got to take as much as you want. But yeah, the AT is so much easier to I get water. Eliminate it one once I got this one. Are they twenty ounces? They're um, Are they yeah. no, they're not liters. They're seven hundred mil. Oh, so I would recommend having two one liters one liter bottles. And two that, one liters in your B free. Yeah, okay. and and that'll get you on the AT. So all three bottles go out here. She also has the three-liter be-free. What? She has a big bag. Oh my. Three uh, pick know. one. But see, I do. I fill this so I can fill those at camp. But I really don't need to fill. But why don't you f use that to fill them? Why don't you use the point six to fill them? Well, oh, I, okay. I, I can carry this. At, but my reason for that is I can carry this to camp, hang it, and fill what I need for that night yeah. and the next morning. Okay. Well, then that becomes one of your leader bottles, and you're down to a one bottle. You can do, go get away with one, then. I agree with that. I like that idea, because those are starting to be a pain. 
Oh, this is excellent. <laughs> okay. You gonna put one of them in the um, to-go pile? I think all three of those can go in the to-go pile and I'll just get one liter one. Okay, in the front strap pocket, uh, bug stuff, yep. hand sanitizer, uh -huh. and my carabiner because I use this at nighttime to hang it on my trekking pole so it's not on the ground or in my tent. Say what? I hang this on my trekking pole when after my tent set up okay. in the vestibule. Okay. I hang this from the strap of the um, trekking pole. So I have a suggestion for you. Yeah. Because ounces add up to pounds, pounds add yeah. up to paint. It's a big one. Oh, I can use that. Use one or the other yeah. and get rid of one of your carabiners. So just hang it on here. Yeah. You have to take it off at night. Right. But again, it's just, it's, it's oh, things that are redundant. You don't even have to take the garment off. Right, you could do it, so, yeah. Uh, Ooh, a heavy item, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, one of these has to go, because I have two. Yeah. Listen, you can get a hand sanitizer this size, too. Ah, uh -huh. okay. I almost never use hand sanitizer. Ooh! I don't touch anybody's hands. I'm glad you didn't say that loud. Boom kiss. <laughs> Especially after hearing this story at Dismal Fall. <laughs> Yeah, I'd do if I do that. Okay. I got it with me, but some of, the some, some of the shelters have big tubs of hand sanitizer, so you can fill up every now and then. This is 1.5. <laughs> Any grocery store you go to, they got them right there. I would stick with. Personally, I stick with that one. You never know how often you need it, and clearly in Clay's, Clay's case, he never needs it. But I was using it all the time. And then my, my uh, inReach is on the outside, and that's it. Excellent. Now the good stuff. So do you have anything in your belt tops? Oh, thank you. Oh, my Lord. Do, do I ever. <laughs> Headlamp, that's a keeper. Um, after reading about um, Mighty Blue's experience with a stick pick, I think I'm going to ditch it. I wouldn't. They're great. But you broke your phone. I did, but <laughs> it fell off. <laughs> now wait a minute. What is that? A stick pick. Are you planning on hooking all that up all the time? No, I I try. No, and I can't. I'm having a hard time taking one picture a day. All oh, right, there you go. If you're not going to use it, they're great though. <laughs> what is it? A knife. A knife. You know what? If you want it, that's a luxury. Keep it. Well, the thing is, the whole idea of it being a neck knife, I wore it for several months and it was so annoying. Get a uh, Swiss Army, $16.99. I have a Swiss Army knife that's that, it's that big and it's got scissors in it and a blade. That thing's like a machete. And it's perfect. It's all I need. Wow. See, all the secrets come out. She got another one in there. Okay. And I've got one that's even smaller than that, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. And I love it, it's super sharp. Yep. Yeah, gotta have that. Um, doggy bags. I also use them for my trash bags, so I'm gonna keep those. And this side should be only snacks. Where do you put your phone? My phone? Where do you put it during the day? I always carry it in, in, in my, uh, okay. my pocket. All right. I'm afraid to leave it off of my body. This is a new item I picked because I, the blow up pillow just won't work for me. What in the world? That can, can I point you to something? Yeah, what? Sure. Okay, yeah. let me, let me but it's on. really but light. This is, we haven't ruled that out in yet. And, and it really squishes down but I, it packs better for me. There's a company that that we have as a sponsor for Hancon, and it's actually a, a hammocking pillow, but everybody uses it for, for camping also, for tents. It's called the Squish Brick. Yeah. And all it is is um, uh, the memory foam. When you squish it down, it's literally like a little ball yeah. about like this, but whenever you take it out of its, its pack, it opens up, and it's really, so really it's comfortable. Down. It's a little smaller than that, but it, it is very we'll comfortable. See. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Kind of like in the middle. I got Wowza. It's cute. Isn't it cute? Yeah. It's so cute. <laughs> the tent, um, my 
uh, stakes are in here and also my ground sheet. Is your, is your tent in good, sh is your, the case in good shape? No. I would, I would get, no, but I did that myself. I'd kind of get a new one of those cases personally yeah. because I'm mine starting to go and I can think this is just getting worse and worse. You know? I made those holes by pushing my um, mistakes in in a hurry. All right. Yeah, and I, I ripped it so that was all on me. My cook stove, nice. um, my fuel, my lighter. Love yeah. Do you love your jet boil? It's okay. It's okay. I wouldn't say You're not I'm super attached to it. I'm not. I'm not. They're heavy. This that goes with this pillow. So that can go with the, pillow. the maybe pile. And I do have a, a, a titanium pot at home that I've been kind if of. If you liking. adore it, keep it. If you're not so sure about it, it's something you could think of. I only boil water. I'm not cooking. Yeah, yeah, hang on, hang on. But the boiling water, boiling water quickly is really important sometimes. Yeah. I, 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 wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't get rid of that personally. I think it's totally your discretion whether you like it and, and uh, you, can, you can save a lot of weight if you want. Yeah, I like the fact that I can keep other things in there, you know. I keep stuff in my titanium pot, yeah. but I have a tiny little stove attachment. Yeah. That sounds like that's in. That might have to be in. Ooh, that went to the autumn. <clears throat> oh, oh poppin'. <laughs> Keep it. Was, it's magical. Yeah. Keep it. They're great. <laughs> yeah. They're great. But you hide it. You hid that thing you? like. <laughs> AT hikers, how often did you use your brollies on the AT? I use my brolly. About five days straight on the AT. See, and that's what I'm concerned about. When yeah. I do need it during those pouring down rain. It works great. It does. It's meant to be a, meant to be a sun umbrella, I know, but I tell you, it works great. Put that on the outside, Chica. Well, on, on another pack I could, but because of my pad, that's where I would put it. Um, but... Pocket over there. Not, they're, yeah, they're two short pockets, so I haven't been able to quite figure that out. But it's a great, it's a great thing to have. Oh, is that, that in a liner? Is that a spe specific liner do you use? This is Nyla Fume, which... You weren't impressed with it, were you? I was not because, actually this is a brand new one because the, uh, the last one I used for not even 50 miles um, I want my, I'll give you my, I poked a hole in it. My, uh, I'll give you a trash compactor bag. And th there I'll just give her mine. Too, but they weigh too I got 800 yeah. at home. <laughs> but the thing with the poles, I, I think I really um, worry about not finding a good spot, you know, that I need a free standing. I, I use those a lot. I, I like the fact that it gives me more room in the tent. Yeah. So I, I think I might have to keep these. Yeah. Um, I guess we can do this one next. This is my med bag. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of heavy, but, but, you know, there's things I have to have. <laughs> right? Got to have a comb. Got to have meds. Let me start setting this stuff out. Comb does not count as medicine, by the way, but... Uh, hearing aid, you know, I got to be able to hear those trees falling around me. Well, I mean, there's some things you have to take. But they take a really long time to charge in the cold, yeah. With... How often do you use the eye drops? Every day. You do? Okay. Yeah, I got to. Got to, got to. Um, saline solution, contact case. I use these. Sandy wipes just to extra sanitize my fingers before I take my contacts out. I only use those for my eyeballs. Um, here's my wallet. Tissues. Oh, and a mirror. That, that's for safety reasons in case I, you know. It's a big mirror breaking in half. <laughs> <laughs> it's already got a hole in it. <laughs> Do you need the Kleenex and the, um... Probably not. Because you got toilet paper. No. So I'll get rid of I the Kleenex. I kind of use that as my toilet paper you when I use it. Paper. No. I don't carry toilet paper. Okay. What's your system? 
shake it. <laughs> it's too... You're a bidet gal. Like I, you well, can, you can use them. I guess I could be. You can have a pee rag too. I could have a pee rag. One of those cloth. Or a bandana, not or just a bandana. bandana, but <laughs> but you know, get a yellow one so you don't forget which one it is. Yeah. Right. Toothbrush. Oh, oh. Do you need the case? No, I probably don't, and I really hate that toothbrush. Put it in a Ziploc bag. Have Have you all seen this seed packs toothbrush? Go to Walgreens and get one. Well, you've got this part, oh, and the... and you've got this part. And then you gotta hope it's gonna stay together as, you, no, as you're brushing no, your teeth. No, no, no. And it doesn't stay together. Yeah, that yes, Z Packs just tried to sell something. Tape. And then yeah. they give you this cute little oh, tuba no. toothpaste. <laughs> that would have last me two days. Yeah, what do you use on day three? <laughs> I would use just the brush and ditch the case yeah, and the little just toothpaste. Normal toothpaste. It's going. It's going. And actually I do have normal toothpaste in there. So the rest in here, uh, cough drops, nail file. Um, that's either soap, powder soap, or you're not going to use it. If you don't know what it is, you if you don't know what it is, you're certainly not going to use it. <laughs> and then, dear God, wait a minute. Wait. No, no, no. I believe in I believe in medicine, but. Well, I more put them in your resupply. Do I want to have to have to stop and buy them every time I go to town? Are you sending yourself boxes? There? I am. Put them in, put them in there. They are in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Five days. Yeah, I, I, I think you should keep those. Well, should... that's probably more for two days. And to be honest with you, you've got a lot of stuff in a small bag there. I think you should keep virtually everything that, you want. That's your ibuprofen, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to take a couple each day? Oh, absolutely. So the bag is just going to get lighter and lighter. Why don't you go to your doctor and get 800 milligram ibuprofen? That, that's a good idea, just to save the space. Yeah. He did give me prednisone because I'm highly allergic to. Uh, so when you hike the Smokies, did you take vitamin I every day? I take vitamin I every day. Every day okay. Yeah, All right. regardless. In this little bag, it has uh, Wiley's meds. He has all kinds of uh, preventative stuff for him, um, okay. which I think is important to do. The, this is some um, him carry. Why right? Mole skin, band aids, that kind of a, a few of each. I think of you've them. got a lot of stuff there in a small bag. I think you've done a great job there, personally. You don't want to. I don't think you want to chuck away too much of that. I don't think so. Yeah, I probably want to keep that. Um, then I have a, a pencil in case I need to write with some tapes on it. I carry a space pen. Yeah, I probably need to get a. Space you have a lighter. I do have wrap a some of that stuff around your lighter. Okay. Wrap some stuff around. You could wrap some stuff around your handle. Use what you have and wrap your stuff. You could wrap half your comb up. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You could, yeah. Trekking pole. Trekking pole. Yeah, water bottle. Water bottle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who makes the bags that put all that in? These are Z packs. Ridiculously expensive. Diddy bags. You can get yeah. Diddy bags at REI. See this yeah. <laughs> so wait, can we go back to your wrapping? It's tape, just so you have tape. Is that? Yeah, like loco tape and, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, tenacious tape. Yeah. Duct tape. Duct, Duct tape. tape. Uh oh, she's some kind of face right here. I'm, no. I'm concerned. I feel it. Well, what is it? <laughs> My electronics bag and miscellaneous. Okay. <laughs> so my eyeglass case. Are you YouTubing on the trail? No, but I have like seven things to recharge and everything comes with a different cord. Um, my Garmin, my watch, my headlamp, um, my hearing aids, Wiley's beacon, my phone. Well, pull the rest of it out. What, let, let's see. No, well, that, that's my hearing aids. They're the Bluetooth. How, I'm sorry? How long are your cords? Because you can purchase cords that are only six inches long. They also have those the cords. You also have the cords that have the, the different. Yeah, different that's what I have. Yeah, those too. I have one class back. But everything has like a different connection. Well, that's what it's, 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 it's a heavy two item because you carry a power bank. I, no, I only have two things that are compatible.
If you go to Walmart though, they sell a cord that will have like your USB-C, your micro, your um, lightning and a couple of others. Yeah. Yeah, see, this way I can, but this is heavy. And um, your power bank is at 10,000? It's 20. 20. I, that's way too much for the AT. Even with all these things I need yeah, to charge. Way too much. Because they're not going to run down. I mean, I guess I don't know about hearing aids and I don't know about his beacon. But I, 20 is a lot for, for even like the CDT. That's a ton. I mean, I have a 10 and I never run it down. Yeah, it's heavy. The 10 won't get that much lighter, but it's just, uh, you know. They're heavy. How often do you think you'll go to town? Oh, I plan on going every four to five days. Yeah, so I think that's too much. That's, I, I, you know, I think you could go with something lighter if you wanted. I think you could. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. That's a fear. Every time I see your license plate, I think you guys work for the government. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes um, Yeah, this is um, my straps that I tie our mattresses together. Tie what together? Our mattresses. Oh, right. Because... Is your tent that big? Well, it's a duplex. So it's his, his and your pads? Yeah. And you, you attach them? I do, so because if he rolls to his side, the, his pad is up in the air. Oh, okay. You know what? That's your experience. So you, you can't not yeah. have that. I could probably cut some of this off now that I know what length I need. Yeah, yeah that makes more sense. But you, you certainly need to keep... cut them down. Yeah, if you can. You know what? You probably only need one, too, and not two. Yeah, yeah, because his pad's shorter. He has that little short uh, thermo rest one. And I probably don't need this plastic bag. Either. No, put him in with your uh, sleeping bag. Yeah, good idea. Or your sleeping pad. Uh oh, see that face. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's my air pump. Uh uh, get one of those bags Body Blue's got. I have one, but you know how hard it is to do that when you're tired after you a carrying, long day? Are you carrying lungs with you on this trail? I have good lungs. <laughs> I know. But it's also, also a light. You have a headlamp. <laughs> I vote no on that, but that's just me. Quick question, does that have uh, changeable batteries or do you got to recharge that battery? So that's another thing that you got to worry about charging. That's, a le that's less of a cable. This was the only thing that was compatible with something else. <laughs> oh, I think that, 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 that's, that's on the fence. Game. Yeah, that's it, on. It probably is, but I'll tell you, you, there's the one thing that really upset me when I got to camp every night, blowing that flipping air pad up. Now that is pain in the butt. Uh-uh. reason I don't do it. So do I have too much first aid? I have an extra cap. Do I need an extra cap? No. Probably not. Goodbye. And well here I have, you know, like some Neosporin and... and but do you have that already? More cop drops. <laughs> I'm down with cough drops. My throat gets yeah, dry when I'm out there. Right this here is all my repair tapes and... You got that pencil! Not sure what that is. Okay, you don't know, okay, that... Oh my... That's either soap or arrowroot powder. Yeah, I always... I got a sewing kit. Is that too much? That's too much. Take one strand of that string. Pick a color. Pick a color. Do you, do you, do you take dental floss with you? Do you have dental floss in your, your kit anywhere? Um, you know, I decided against it because I'm really bad at flossing at home, so I well, doubt if I'm going to floss on the trail. I say, if you, had, if you had dental floss, you can always use dental floss. As your I say just pick a color. Yeah. Ooh. Pick a color. Earplugs. Q-tips. Do you know how to sew? Oh, my. I do. Okay. You're not going to use Q-tips. No, no, probably not. You take your bandana, not your safety bandana, and you just wipe those things out. Got a few Band-Aids, um, hydrocortisone. Oh, I do have floss. A floss sachet. This is what I want you to do. I think we can greatly reduce this. Yes. I want yeah, to reduce this, get rid of this stuff. We could work with you separately. I need my contacts, extra pair. Just okay. on your first aid. Okay. We're not trying to eliminate, we're just trying to combine. Okay. So you only have one first aid. 
So my recommendation is after we're all done, you let us look at, just separately look at your first aid. Gotcha, sounds good. Because we don't want to eliminate anything. We just want to combine. Close bag. Now there's Apex one. I know, because well, I bought it to, as a pillow and they're horrible. I don't have a clothes bag. No? No. Well, I bought it because, you know, you flip it out and you use There's it. There's your pillow. Wait a minute. You got two pillows. Well, I don't use this as a pillow anymore because it sucks. <laughs> it, failed. Okay. It, it failed miserably. Uh, jammies, my wool. Okay, so you could pack those in your, okay, I'm going to take everything okay. out there. My jammy top. My uh -huh. bedtime oh. socks. We got, what are those other socks? What other socks? The waterproof sock. The waterproof. Okay. Oh, yeah, those are just for when my feet get wet. My down booties. <laughs> now that I am, you were going to have those. <laughs> yeah. Um, a mid layer uh -huh. of uh, hiking pants, or not hiking pants, but yeah. One extra pair of socks and an extra pair in gingy. What do you hike with? I hike with a sock and an ingenji, um, my hiking pants. Where's your bed stuff? Like what yeah, you wear to bed? My, that's my you wear stuff. three pairs of socks to bed. No. Okay, so you wear this stuff. to bed, you wear this to bed. Yep. And those. And, those. and these. And, and my, my downs. <laughs> okay. Socks and the booties? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. Is there anything else in there? <laughs> Okay, let's set this bag to the side okay. for now. Mm -hmm. Riley, leave it. What's next? That's all in the clothes bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. I, I, whatever I have on, I have on. Where's your sleeping bag? It's coming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my liner. Okay, give me that. Okay. Oh, I love my liner. That's going to be a tough one to give up. No, I'm, this isn't giving up. I'm going to show you where oh, to pack it. Oh, okay. This is Wiley's um, sleeping bag. He needs to carry it. Wiley carries that. Well, I'm afraid of it getting wet. His pack oh. totally is not. Ziploc. So you know a Ziploc, Ziploc bag. bag. Yeah. That is what I use instead of buying expensive bags for almost everything now. It's just Ziplocs. Because yeah. this Z pack stuff is. It does great. Ooh, crazy, crazy stuff. Okay, so you don't put your sleeping bag in a stuff sack. Well, I used to always until about a month ago. Where's the bottom of your bag? When I, when I bought this monster. Okay, wait a minute, I'm gonna show you something before we go into that, you ready? <laughs> no, look, look, watch. Oh, nice. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. So oh. remember, you gotta keep everything dry. You want a whole dry, I would put everything that you're not planning on wearing during the day in here. Okay. And that's what you handed me. So there you go. You get rid of this bag. Oh, okay. And you said you didn't like it anyway. Bag. <laughs> well, you didn't exactly uh, talk it up. You know, so. Oh, no. No, no. I was very disappointed. Now, why are you carrying the bear? Can. <sighs> Several reasons. It has a picture of her bird on it. Oh yeah, that's Scarlet. And this is, well, we call him Booby. He calls himself Booby. Booby? Okay. Yeah, Booby, it's Bebe actually, but he's a rose-breasted cockatoo and she's an African gray and Oliver. <laughs> Oliver, who is not present. Who is mm -hmm. not present. Well, how many days of food are in there? Five. Do you plan on typically going five days? Four and then the fifth day go to town, four nights. Could you not buy the 450? This is pretty doggone full. Well, the, the next idea of, of re having the larger one is because after the first day, I can kind of shove his stuff into it. Well, you could I, repackage I, this food, make it smaller. Yeah. How? Have you Take the, pour the food out at you. Yeah. Have you done a five day trip and eaten all of that? I usually have a whole day left. So I'm probably carrying too much food. Your meals can come out of these and you put them in freezer bag, freezer bag Ziplocs. Then you have less trash to carry they too. Pack up. I mean, it's easier. You can trash. get five meals about this high. 
just meals. Makes a huge difference, I must say. And then what is your thinking on the bear can? The, the whole hang thing. I, and I know, you know, I learned that, you know, many people don't even bother hanging, but. A lot of the places have either the bear vaults. In the south, in the south, there are bear poles, bear boxes, but that disappears in the so mid-Atlantic. Until I got to the Smokies, I could probably hike without it because of the bear boxes. I would think about getting the 450. Yeah, what about his food? I mean, is he carrying his food? He is, but at nighttime, he, I have to. I mean, she still has the same problem oh, gotcha, that she's gotcha, gonna. Gotcha. Wow, I wouldn't carry a bear can, but that's just me. Pretty heavy, huh? That's well, it's an extra two and a half or three pounds, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. 2.9 ounces. Well, I, yes. The reason I don't carry a bear can is because whether it's full or it's empty, it's taking up the same amount of space. Yeah, I mean, you can start stuffing things in there, but. Mm. You can use it to stuff other things in there, definitely, yeah. But that's a personal decision. Yeah, I'm amazed how well you've got everything in there, to be honest with you. And you, and once and, you start- And this would go in there as well. I, I would really think about what, how much you're taking with you every time. Trying to go in, I know it's probably dangerous, but I try to go into town with, li with literally zero food. So, and plan when I leave town, I'm gonna to be three days or four days or whatever it is and take that, that, that yeah, and I still haven't figured out, you know, the food that I'm eating. Once you get going, once you get hiking, you'll you'll learn your pace. And so then you'll be able to, to look at your guide and know roughly where you're going to be in that in that time and then just add maybe a day to it as a just in case. Well, it's breakfast, lunch and dinner, you know, and snacks. But how many people? Is this about what you weighed going through the Smokies? Ooh, it is. How'd that feel for you? Bad. I had a different pack. I had the um, Hyperlite, uh -huh. and it couldn't handle 30 pounds. I was dying by the time I... This feels heavier than 30 to me when I scooped. Yeah. It was probably it. like 33. Okay. Oh. Or what about a year sack or ursac? Well, after y'all talking about that, I'm considering... I would recommend going half, or ursac would fit the dog. Food. I love ursac. Yeah, I was thinking about even What's getting What's the one sack? you said, the... Um, the critter sack? The critter sack with the, um, the, scent liner. the scent liner. Well, you have to do the OP sack with it. I mean, so you just order those. You can get it from Ursac or you can get it from REI. But yeah, you absolutely need that inside the critter sack. It, unless you're going to do, unless you're going to hang. Is the critter sack different than the, the Almighty? It's a different, okay, so the regular one that deters bears, smaller mammals can get into it. The one that deters mammals, bears can get into it. So you just have to kind of think about what's more likely. It's w incredibly more likely that you're gonna have to fend off small mammals. However, if you have everything in that odor-proof sack and you keep things reasonably clean, they don't even know you have food. You have they a dog. Bears hate dogs. <clears throat> the number one thing they say you're supposed to do if you see a bear, and it comes, you're supposed to start barking. Seriously. Are you That's able to, or would you be able to demonstrate that? <laughs> I think on the AT you're better off. If you do ERSAC, I think if you do ERSAC on the AT, I would go with the, the, the ERSAC minor they caught, or the critter sack. Because I, my friend got a, a bunch of stuff stolen by raccoons that came right up into the shelter and snatched his bag and ran away. Um, and, and there are mice and those are way, you're way, way more likely to encounter those. And again, if you use the OP properly, no animal's gonna know you have anything. And so it's not really gonna attract bears. And I don't think they're habituated yet, the bears, yeah. to like seeing those as food sources. I know people eat. that have just bought the liner, the scentless liner, I don't know exactly what it's called, and put it in a regular food bag on the AT. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> on the CT, that I just use the the. Okay. Great getting so much in there, to be honest with you, I really do. What? Yeah, I think you've done great getting so much in oh, there. Yeah. And and, I, and be, to be fair, as you as you start eating out of those bear canisters, it gets lighter, and you can put one or two other things inside. But you never easy. lose the three pounds of the canister. I I, I predict this. I predict that you will start walking and you're gonna figure out which of these things that feel pretty essential to you can either be switched out for something lighter or, or dropped. Aren't you going to the Foothills Trail? I am, yeah. It's a pretty heavy yeah. pack. You're leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. So that, wow. that's gonna be a real well, test. test. 
Yeah. Be careful if you hear banjos down on the river. <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> I've heard. All right, here we go. This is my belt pack. And I have it. Like your fanny pack? Yeah, it's my fanny pack. Okay. And I took it off the thing because I found the belt to irritate along with that. So I just took it with these. My regular. Well, that works. Yeah. And um, in here, I have a compass. <laughs> Let's see your compass. It's pretty light. Is it too cheapy? No. No. If it works, it works. Mirror. You open it up and there's a mirror. Oh. Mirror. It did work. Oh. Not anymore. anymore. <laughs> McClay? <laughs> there's something. Did I clear. break it? No, you didn't break it. It's okay. On there. Well, it, it came with like a necklace thing, and that's what that's for. You might want to, you need to probably check that out before you go, because it's not really. It was working. It's kind of, kind of stuck. Jamming up, yeah. isn't it? Okay. I'll get another one. But I applied you for bringing a compass. You can I get a compass at small. REI and it clips on your, it's like this big. Yeah, very small. Uh -huh. And it clips on your front okay. strap. What about okay. the, um, the compass on your phone? Just to be able to hold it. That's good until your phone doesn't yeah. work. Yeah, that's that's the thing about it. Yeah. I got pepper in there. That's kind of big. 1.5. That's two. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be um, bears and little bears, bug spray, and um, 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 something. Yep. Mm -hmm. I will say on the AT, I never use sunscreen. How much your wallet are you bringing? Uh, Can I see your wallet? Like, well, this is what I brought with me, but that's not what I would take on the 18. Well, you know what a hiker wallet is, right? Ziploc yeah. bag? Yeah, it's a ziploc yeah. bag. That's what I plan to use, but I had it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and my phone would be in here. <laughs> um, if I needed to. You're saying I'm thinking. <laughs> and here I've got an extra lighter in case I somehow get separated. Oh, that's pack. smart. Yeah. My knife is in here. You don't have another knife in there, do you? Can I see your knife? <laughs> <That's it. laughs> yeah. This little knife. That's good. You can get an even smaller one, believe it or not. Yeah. I cut my fingernails with that little bitty knife. That's just... Yeah, I, have, I have a nail clipper. <laughs> I just want my glass case. You saw that. It's, so good. it's spare glasses, because if I lose... Yeah, you lose, you're doomed. You've got to be able to see... <laughs> I'm doing first aid, first aid and gear repair, my sewing kit, and all that is in there. That's you could small. you could put your leaves in a Zip plastic up. bag, yeah. a little bitty plastic bag. Are you allowed to do that? Because I thought that if you drugs couldn't go in, like I do it all the time. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. It, there's numbers on the pills, and anybody can go. You can go online and look up the number, and it'll tell right. you exactly okay. what it is. Okay. So okay. you know they can look it up if they have any orders. <laughs> I got water tablets in there, um, anti-diarrhea, mm -hmm. um, Benadryl, mm -hmm. yeah. and some band-aids and blister things. There you go. And that's my first aid and ear repair, all with the tap in one. You, I see Tenacious tape. You need that whole roll? No, it's not a whole roll. I just cut it and it's, it's not. See, it's mm -hmm. Oh, I got you. Okay. So it's just space. Um, and then, you know what we call that? A butt kit. Yeah. <laughs> we really call it an A kit, but I won't say that out loud. Yeah, and yeah. And yeah I've got finger nail clippers in there. Also good for cutting you thread and really stuff. So it's kind of dangerous. Take the box out of the Is box. that what you're going to carry when you put your pack down and go to the bathroom? Yeah. Um, no, if you want to be a gram weed. So that's not your butt kit. No, this is like um, my toiletry. Pull up. Oh, oh. Yeah, toothbrush, toothpaste. Okay. Wipes. Why wouldn't you combine those two? I guess I could. Yeah. If they'll all fit. It will. Yeah. I guess just for ease of finding yeah. stuff or what I need. Yeah, because you, you really got... The, that That's what I would call your ditty supplies. Uh-huh. Goes in your one ditty bag, and then you have your I'm going to go to the bathroom ditty. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And that's... Hey, do you have a, a spade? A trowel, Mary? Oh, uh, Wiley carries it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that and the wipes. And my a water bottle. 
P style. <laughs> so you can stand up, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, a girl Good. thing. Oh yeah. Don't ask. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good. I use it. I horseback ride a lot, and you go out there in the woods. Go. You've got a horse. You can. And this is a smaller bottle, right? Yeah. It's the leader. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it looks like smaller than a liter, I think. No, it's a liter. Oh, it is 23 yeah, ounce, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's go with the tall one. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's really good. Good access, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I can pull them out. I do too. There's my water filter. What's that? It's a water filter. It's the MSR trail shot. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah, I do. It's come in handy when you got a, just a puddle of water under mm -hmm. there, and this filters it, and you can suck it up in there. So, uh, there's that. I think I got everything on the outside. It's amazing how many people have so many different things as well, isn't it? I know. Yeah. This is my rain pants and my rain... Very light. Wow. And my bear cans in there. I only brought that because I didn't know what kind of bear bag to get. And I have used the bear can because there's a few... Gear? Yeah. This is my rain gear and this is my butt kit. Okay. You got a small butt kit. That's good. Yeah. Mine's not that small. I bring a whole roll. Oh. Packing your fears. That's right. My number one fear is running out of toilet paper. Yeah. Use a bidet. Mm -hmm. It's never gonna happen. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use the clay method. This is my electronics. Most popular method I mean, in that the world. is a nightmare method. Most popular method in the world. This is my electronics. That's my. That's my phone which I would normally carry on me. Mm -hmm. And then this is a 10,000 yeah. power bank, mm -hmm. and then the cords I need, mm -hmm. but still kind of heavy. I think you could it's, put this all is that. always one of the heaviest yeah. items if you're carrying a power bank. You yeah. kind of can't get around that. Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think on, I know on the AT I did, I had like this not very effective solar one, and it's a lot lighter than the 10,000 that I have now. It came with the bag. But you're in the, t you're in the, green, t you're in the green tunnel. Well, I wouldn't change a thing on that. You don't get my son, don't you? Do you? I, didn't, I didn't carry a power bank at all. Yeah. Like, I think you can get it. Whenever, whenever I'd go into a town or whatever, you know, even if I stopped at like a McDonald's or somewhere, the first thing I'd done was started looking for the chair. You know? I think on the AT, you can usually get away with it unless you listen to music or something. Right. And you know, you, you know, put it on airplane mode almost all the time yeah. and put it on low battery. Yes. All the time when you're, even when you're using it, because that is, deli so, it make the background, uh, the background power drainage. This is for warming your, putting your meals in to hydrate them. Smart. So what was it? What was that? That you can put your meal in there to a koozie. Is that a packed liner? See, you'd be better off getting something like this and put your meals in Ziploc. Now make sure they're um, freezer bags. Yeah, the quart freezer bag. What do you do? It's a koozie. It's a koozie. I got it off of Etsy. <laughs> Somebody makes them. And that's got the fuel canister and everything in it. Yeah. And that's a, that's the bear canister. Here's my um, thermorest. Thermorest. You're not going to change much on that unless you just unless you just carry it without the sack. That's personal preference. Yeah, I'm just so, it's so fragile, I'm afraid, yeah. jamming stuff in there. Yeah. I don't know. This is my socks and well, my hat and my buff is in here. Extra socks. Like stocking hat. I've got those in something <laughs> separate. I could probably combine stuff. What, I, like sleep that, clothes? I like that you're using Ziplocs. My sleep clothes I've got on right now. But where would you put your sleep clothes? I would just jam them in there, in here. In the foot of your sleeping bag. Yeah. Now what is this, extra? What? This socks, a uh, tank top, and a pair of underwear. And then this is my sleeping bag. And it's got a sleeping bag liner on it, in it. It's okay. feathered friend. You can get one of those things, remember to compress it. Yeah. yeah. Saves you, you saves you a little, little space. To get in here. So, Put my clothes all in. my clothes, I don't have clothes bags. Uh -huh. I have the clothes I have on, 
and then everything I want to keep dry, put in the foot of your sleeping bag. Okay. And stuff it in that stuff sack. Okay. And you never have to deal with it. Sack to yeah. See, I, I, I used a, a dry bag for my clothes, yeah. but all I had, I, the, exactly what I, I used a waterproof compression my, sack. Yeah. Just to guarantee, okay. just just to guarantee that it won't get wet. Yeah. And it, it has happened to me. It happened recently where rain got inside my trash yeah. compactor bag and yeah. I, I just I just know that it's fine because it's inside the waterproof compression sack. And it weighs a little more, but not a lot. I can I can grab one and show you. But. That's the oh, only thing I put in in a compression sack is my sleeping bag, a waterproof inside that well you don't have to have a garbage bag inside that sack uh-huh yeah. right i think you're admirably light i think she's i think it's i think you've oh, yeah. done great with the exception of the bear can yeah that's yeah. the one thing i agree i Wait, agree how many meals do you how many meals are in there i mean how well, they say you can do three to five days in there okay so why do you want to carry a bear can i don't really want to i just brought it just so that it has some place to put my food you know um yeah. I have like stayed at state parks in Georgia where there have been bear problems and I've had to have the can. So you'll start off, you won't start off with one? Not necessarily, no, uh, no. And you recommend the earth sack with the... Uh, you have to do the odor-proof sack inside. That You have to do that inside. Otherwise, yeah, you're just waving it around. I mean, somebody will drag it away. They may not be able to open it. So it's just, um, you're supposed to tie it to a tree. That's what you do, right? Yeah. yeah. So you don't have to hang it. You just tie it to a tree. Do, do you can just find the highest branch you can reach? Uh-huh. Yeah. In, okay. In that, that sounds like it'd be a lot because yeah. I don't know if I could do all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Or like he said, tie it around the trunk. That's, That's what I've seen most people do is you know tie it around the, the base of the tree. And then the, the knock on that with bears is if a bear decides there's food in there or if it knows what it is they can smash it all up they aren't going to be able to get inside but they'll munch up your whatever you got inside so good job gail and so he was looking for a good solution for him to be able to carry comfortably and i've had uh back surgeries and stuff so uh I really liked his system for straps. It's actually a vest. And so the vest comes together and it's like a fishing vest. And that's how he started. He used a bag and a fishing vest and put them together. But they, you can also opt for the S, the S type um, straps or the J straps. And then also these are, um, you have large and small. And I like these because they had four points of compression. So you can really dial in your belt. Um, Is so, that belt removable? Yes. Yeah, the belt's removable. Now you can have you can put it, yeah. like a fanny pack. Yeah, and it's also adjustable. So I've I've done the adjustments several times. So just making sure I had the right just size. Like, oh, the height of the yeah, the height. Like, oh, so if it's so riding heavy, it might ride lower. So you can actually adjust it up a little bit. So so um so that's that. Um, I just happen to have this great orange bandana. That is a must go up the trail. Uh, sanitizer and a whistle. And then I heard yesterday, don't get a metal whistle. And I, I looked at it and it's like, yeah, it's already starting to rust a little bit. So, so not good, not good. Uh, and then um, let's see what else on this side. And then inside here. A lot of good compartments, isn't there? My, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of compartments. There's my head, head net and bug net. Bug, Either, bug, net. Yeah, bug net. Yeah. And then let's see, I don't think I have anything on this side yet. Yeah, but this is where my wallet would go or just some cash and a couple of credit cards. And you would not keep that on your person? Uh, likely I probably would. Okay. Yeah. So then this is my first aid kit and my, my lamp. So, or my headlamp. Look at that. The Petzl Bindi. Is that a rechargeable one? It's rechargeable, okay. yeah. Yeah. So my first aid kit. The only problem with I'm finding with Ziplocs is I'm getting tears. But I like use the uh, freezer bags. The freezer yeah, bags are better. Okay. Yeah, but I've got the. You want to see all this stuff? Yours looks pretty small. Is that good or bad? That's good. Okay. So I've got my uh, couple of wipes for off, just in case. But I'm set up right now for fall. So this is my fall setup. Okay. Uh, and then these are toe spacers in case I get some 
blisters or whatever in between. Uh, I've got my Imodium. I've got some Benadryl. And let's see what else. And inside of those, I have those desiccant bags. I think that's how you say it. That mm -hmm. keep the moisture out. Desiccant. Yeah. I think you can skip those. Really? Yeah. Okay. I carried pills on the AT and nothing. They were all right inside of... And I did get some dioxylene from my doctor. So I've got a couple of those all ready to go. Um, only a couple large Band-Aids, some small Band-Aids. Um, ibuprofen, definitely. And let's see what else. Uh, hydrocortisone cream. I've got some hand wipes, back trace and ointment, and a couple emergencies. And then my little tick. That's a small amount, small, which yeah. is great, yeah. And if you have need to... Moleskin, I actually keep on the outside. Are you carrying Luco tape? Uh, yeah. Let me undo this real quick. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, yep. Yeah. 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 It's on my poles. So. Excellent. I, I think, I think moleskin band aids and Luco tape is overkill, personally. So uh, you might want to drop one. I don't have moleskin. Oh okay. I don't All know. I have is the Luco tape. Just the tape. Yeah, just the tape. You know, something I kept mentioning, I don't know when I was going to mention it, but I'm going to mention it now. So, anybody get chafe ever? Body you block, you yeah. probably will on the AT just because it's yeah. wet and this and that. The miracle cure, not the preventative, the cure is Vagisil. And it works like a charm. And it's a, just that stuff you buy at the grocery store. You put it on, it stings, but it's it, after about 30 seconds, it's got an analgesic property. And I've never woken up with the chafe still there. So I, I'm never caught without Vagisil. It is, it is a must-have item for me, and it works really well. What I, what I done is uh, Walmart always in the hunting season, they always have um, the, the like one dollar sticks of scentless uh, deodorant. I always use that. I use Body Glide. Body Glide for me is more of a preventative. Fingerless gloves. Is it gonna actually be warm enough? Well, necessarily warm enough, but they'll help with the friction from the poles. And then also if I, as I get farther north, have to do any kind of hand over hand kind of things. You have regular gloves, right? Uh, as far as like winter gloves? or fing Fingered gloves? I have winter gloves, yeah. yeah. I don't know, but I, again, if you're looking to lose weight, I, I think you can lose the fingerless gloves. You, your hands, I always get a blister right here, right here. This is from falling this morning, but... I get blisters right here, right here, real quick, they go away, and then I have a callus from my poles. Okay. So, and for climbing, I don't know that that would help you very much. Your fingers are gonna be what's cold anyway, if that's what you're thinking about. Yeah, and again, I'm just offering my thoughts. To me, that is something I think you might not use. Well, I would, you know what? You could carry it when you start in the spring if you're worried about the climbing. You're not gonna need those in the south. But I don't know how it's gonna help you climbing, particularly. I, I, have you done much rock climbing? I did when I was a kid, yeah. 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 I mean, it's sort of, it's very fingery. Yeah, so it's almost like this is not protecting. And like I say, I do always get a blister here and here and it, it's not a bad one. It just goes away and I have a callus. So I, if you're looking to lose weight, I think you might consider that. They also make like a sunblock. Like, you mm -hmm. have a little bit of a yeah. pad there. Okay. Yeah. And they're a lot lighter and they're fingerless. And people use those on the PCT. They're very lightweight. I, I brought them and got rid of them right away because I didn't use them, so. Okay. Uh, on the outside, I've got my, let's see. Uh, the only shoes I will carry all 2,200 miles. The Crocs. Do you find you use camp shoes? Uh, camp shoes, yeah, and then water crossings. Okay. And I really like them because of the bubbles that they have in here. Really kind of gives you a little massage at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, oh, this pocket. I like your pad. <laughs> My pad? Yeah. That's and it looks brand. It looks pad. nice and new too. It, it looks is like relatively new. It's a Nemo um, switchback. Yeah. Yeah. And what I the reason I got this was I was looking at some of the other pads that were out there that weren't quite as tall. Was that going through the south? I know I'll be going through hunting season, and I'm going to strap this out like that. So. Smart. I've carried I've carried it flat like that, so looks good. And then uh, I've got my frog togs. Yay! Right on. You learned that lesson. I got my rain hat, which this is an awesome rain hat. But I also have 
my umbrella. So I, I may be a little too over. I, I agree. I think that's overkill, one or the other. Yeah, I just wasn't sure. I, I know a lot of long hikers have used the umbrella, and I like the idea. Because yeah. doesn't the umbrella also My protect hand. your pack a little bit too, or yes, no? Put it on. You're not going yeah, so it lets all the water down. The one, the, the only thing with me is what drives me crazy if I get water on my glasses, it just drives me crazy. I, I, I think, I don't think your umbrella's overkill with the hat. I think you're going to appreciate that because it does rain sideways quite often. So I think you'd, you'd really appreciate it. Are you bringing another hat? No, then a raincoat. Is that your only hat? Uh, right now, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, rain covered. But it sounded like this might be overkill because I do have, I have a liner. Yeah. It, it depends how much you've got inside the bag. And how much you're carrying outside and what you're carrying outside. That you don't want to get wet, yeah. If it's a one ounce cover, it's not going to kill you, but Thermometer they don't. Outside. Yeah, what's that? Yeah. Thermometer and some uh, um, pins, what do you call those? Safety yeah. pins? Yeah. Yeah, 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 for blisters, but for also great. hanging socks and whatever. And fixing your pack and fixing everything else. Your uh, pack cover, is it waterproof? Uh, it's supposed to be. I've not tried it out yet. Because some of them really aren't, and then it's sort of pointless. But, I mean, not pointless, but... And then on this side, I've got my butt bag. So, and I, <laughs> I am a uh, bidet guy, right. but I've got a little extra stuff. And I've got the uh, body glide in there as well. Have you used a bidet? Yes, yeah. You've been practicing. I'm pretty sure bidets are a man thing. When I lived in Iran, I mean, that's how the Middle Easterners used right. to do it. And yeah. it's, that's why you... Use your left hand and not you eat with your right hand. So, well over half the world does it that way. So, not saying we. Not but that's also why I have sanitizer. Um, <laughs> yeah, and remember that, by the way, Clay does not have sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> your straps old rubber band up. Can you just not? Be a lot yeah, I. So when I got the pack, I did the uh, rubber bands until I made sure I had plenty. And so right before I go, I've considered cutting them, but I have actually found with the rubber band when I go to tug, especially in the cold, it really gives me grip, it gives me a nice grip. So I'm thinking I may put just a little bit of black um, duct tape around them, and then I've got my duct tape if I need duct tape. Well, you worked this out. You worked this out, yeah. Um, I, I had to take my pack and put it inside a suitcase to send it with me, so everything... It'll bounce back. Yeah, it'll it'll pop back. It's just without air. Um, but I've got a little bit of black duct tape there, so that's my one liter. And then the nice thing is the um, smart bottles fit in these pockets absolutely perfect. One liter will stick up and hit me in the chin, but the 500s, so I'm, I've got a 500 on one side and five on the other, so that gives me two liters of water. And... I usually have my, my tent poles in here. So this is like what's left of my tent right now. Tent poles. And then I've got my Seenock and my Sawyer. Yep. So There's a company called Virginia Foothills Designs. They make a little bitty tent stake bag. And I was given one when I was on the PCT. That's made, I can't remember the name of the, all the materials, but it's made out of this really tough material so that it doesn't poke through. Because I've actually poked through a number of those little thin nylon ones. Totally worth having. I love it. I love that thing. It's probably a Rogaine, a Rograine material. Rogaine. Rograine material. Remember, I'll show you mine. I, I love it. It was given to me on the PCT. That's what they use a lot of times on uh, like a lot of your packs and tents and stuff like that where poles are going to go. Uh, it's very tough. Yeah. So I keep my tent, my, um, my stake bag. I keep only a stake bag. I don't put my tent in a bag or my um, fly. And so I keep that above my liner. Okay, because that was my question. If it's wet, yeah. I, I stick it in above the liner. And you know what I'd like to do for that reason, though, is go ahead and bring an extra garbage bag. It doesn't have to be a compactor bag so that you can throw it in there and contain whatever moisture is in there. It's just a thought, because, you know, I hate, you know, when water runs inside your compactor bag. Yeah, and then I've got the, my sack for all my food. I have no food um, or bars or anything else packed in this pack at this time. 
and also no fuel and they took my two lighters so they were they were really harsh they were they had something to prove i think when i left yeah but um i did want to show this little hack that i learned uh, this is my food bag and inside there i have my um because it's a smellable i've got my well i've got extra baggies and i've got my um my kit my brush my brush and then i'm using the tablets for toothpaste instead of toothpaste i'm using the charcoal tablets and then um also i've got a mirror and i use that for signaling if i need to but also tick checks so since i'll be out on my own so, so that's it and again another one of those silica whatchamacallit and i also have the um the uh what you call it a koozie yeah this one's a little fancy though did you make it yourself or you bought it no i bought it from a somebody off etsy that was making them so it was pretty cool what do you use that for so you take your like a mountain house meal and you stick it in there when it says to let it sit for 10 minutes and it keeps the cold it keeps the heat inside the bag keeps your meal cooking while yeah if you transfer your mountain house to a uh, ziploc you just throw the ziploc in that bag that just insulates and I also, um, instead of the compactor bag, I bought the, um, I went ahead and got the Six Moons liner bag that fits this bag, this pack perfectly, supposedly. Um, it's my cook system. And I've, do you, you want to see all this? Nah. It's a pot, pot, fuel, uh, and then my coffee cup on the outside. So. What is it? What kind? Um, it's just one of those that pops. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I think it, I think it's C to Summit. So, the Six Moon Designs uh, bag that you've got in there, the dry sack, those things work. Because I've tried to wash mine before, and it just fills up with water. It's like a giant water balloon. They really are. They're amazing. They really work well. Yeah. Uh, and then so, this is my kind of miscellaneous bag. It's it's my heavy bag. Uh, it's got my electronics, but it also has my repair kit. And I think my repair kit could use some real paring down. But, but my electronics, uh, I've got my Garmin. I've got just about everything in there. There is one or two things that I saw earlier that might help. Um, my in-town um, charger, so I can charge four things at once if I need to. Uh, doesn't help me on the trail, and that weighs a little bit of... It's got some weight to it. Uh, my Garmin... Uh, but one of the things I've also color coded my my cords to sync up to my because I always can't remember which one goes which. But the tape's coming loose, so what I'm going to end up doing is using bread ties because bread companies actually change the color on their bread ties. Yep. So I'll get a few extra bread bread ties. Nail polish. Thought about nail polish. And there was something else. Where is it? They make a little, um, where did it go? It's an adapter that takes a USB and converts it to a USB-C or a USB-C converts it to a USB. So I saw, I think, Mary, I think you had several types of cords, but they make these tiny little adapters. So you could, if you got a couple of those, it might, yeah. So, and then uh, going down hills, uh, I tend to, uh, get a little pain just underneath, and then this strap actually takes that pain away pretty well. So I'm carrying that. And then this is my repair kit. So um, I don't know if you've seen these towels. This, yeah, these are great. And it's a towel. It's, it's, you, it'll actually come out to about that big. And then you can get your condensation or if you need to, to dry something. Okay. So is it a one-time use? Or no, then? you can then, after that, you just wash it by hand. But it condenses up. My earplugs, um, all my tapes and repair. Uh, I also have some tablets in case my filter goes bad in the wintertime. And let's see. I kept hearing that you need to have a a whatchamacallit, a, um, a sharpie, but I cannot figure out why. <laughs> you know, what so I got mine. What, it, it's handy for different things, but what a lot of people do is like, if you're trying to hitch to town, 
and you can find a piece of cardboard, you got a piece of paper and you can write hiker to town on it just to help you get a ride. That's, you know, that's one use that I've heard. I do carry a little one just. Well, they have that bandana too now. One side says hiker to town, flip it over, hiker to trail. Do you have a ground cloth for your tent? What do you put underneath? Uh, I have a ground cloth. It's the one that came, that is, it's the big Agnes. Okay, so if, if you use Tyvek, then what a lot of people do, what I did, is you just write the hiker to town on one side and hiker to trail on the other side. I have a, you know, big sign that says. So this is my clothes bag. And actually, um, I'll use a, and it's cotton, shemag. It has many different uses. Uh, it'll be what I use on my head uh, when it gets cold or windy or at night. I actually throw it over my head to keep the little bit of air and stuff off my face. I would never go with cotton. I know. And I, that's where I wrestle with it. But, uh, and then basically I've got just the pants and stuff that I sleep in. But the reason I have them in a bag, oh, and I've got an extra pair of Vinjinjis, is because this bag actually turns inside out and it's a pillow. Yeah, and it, and it was very comfortable, so. Yeah, you've thought it through. So on your, on your multi-plug uh, charging block there, um, I would only think you would want that or need that if you're like buzzing in and out of town really quick. You know what I mean? To have the four to be able to charge all at once. I mean, you know, you might fight people for plugs when you get to a hostel or something. That happens. But if you're there overnight, I don't know. It, you don't have much. You don't really need to lose a lot of weight. But I think that's a I don't think you actually need it unless you were like, I'm zipping into town and doing my grocery shopping and I'm going to leave my stuff in charge over here and you need to do it in two hours or one or whatever. It just seems like, but you got things pretty dialed in, so. This is my, um, my sleep system or part of my sleep system. I do have the airbag to fill this up. Um, and I got this one for my back and to make sure that I was as comfortable as possible. And I use the orange pad underneath me and that gets my, uh, it gets the heat R value up to about five, 5.2, 5 really? yeah. Wow. Yeah, between the two, because this is 3.5 and that's 1.5. Okay. So, so I'll lose one of those when the spring comes. And then, as you suggested, my, uh, my, my quilt I keep in a compression yeah. bag. So. Those things are amazing. That's what I've got. And that's a waterproof compression sack right there. Is that that's the Cedar Summit? Mm -hmm. Cedar Summit, yeah. And I have a synthetic, uh, um, what is it? Um, who makes the bags? They make them start starts with an e two e words and light and equipment thank you yes um so i've got the light and equipment but i did synthetic because i had that fear of my down getting wet so that's it that's everything wow. yeah i think you're ready to go hiking in two weeks <laughs> hope so so i'm the only one looks like with a brain so <laughs> He's been waiting to say that all afternoon. <laughs> so, yeah, in my brain, I have a, I, ha I have to always, I'm bald, so I always have at least one or two beanies, plus I carry a buff with me. Um, as soon as it gets warmer, then I just lose them. Um, I got one headlamp in here as well. Uh... On the other. You know, like he was saying, it's okay. You don't have to, you know, if you need two beanies, then you need to, you know what right. you need to operate. Yeah. So, and on the other side, oh, the wrapper from Power Bar. Um, I guess we can get rid of that. I have a second. Now, why do you have two headlamps? I got two headlamps because I'm concerned that one will something will go wrong with the one yeah or it'll you uh, know just get two batteries are they uh chargeable or battery? what's that they're chargeable we're charged i would carry just one you don't need two so okay i'll put that down there i carry a trash bag with me well pick your favorite one they're the same oh, they're the same. the same i have a few carabiners i got thrown in here i really ended up only carrying one i used to carry like three I, I, I don't think you need too many carabiners. 
Yeah, I got a couple car but I'm still trying to narrow it down with my gear and stuff. So I, it's just continues dropping because the last time I went hiking, I think I had two pounds of stuff like this. So I got it down to that just in, in one trip. What do you use those carabiners for? What's that? What do you use the carabiners for? I use the carabiners, a lot of it's for my hammock system. So, so, um, and then here's uh, the necklace that I will forgive you on the neck. Yeah, I, I won that from Jester's, and this is my uh, uh, bug spray. So, I love that stuff. Is it the um, what's it called? It's the um, Picardin. Picardin. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Yeah, me too. I like it a lot better than I. I I'll spray it on. On my buff, I spray it on my buff, and it keeps the mosquitoes away. I've walked through swarms of mosquitoes. I used it on the PCT, and I liked it. Inside my brain, I got my filter, and this is my butt bag. Um, then I got my water bottles as well. So here's uh, this is my rain gear, and this is the uh, the cover for the backpack as well. What kind of rain gear? It's uh, frog tugs. Hanging on the bottom. This is this is my uh, hammock. So this is heavier than the ones we we felled earlier. But is that the tarp and everything? This isn't the tarp. This is well. This this does have the the bug net the um, which is attached to the hammock. The rain fly that attaches to the hammock, and then just that part and I also I do have the straps are in here so my, so I have that's all in here the uh and that won't fold down anymore if you put it in a stuff that's, sack that's a bridge hammock so it has the poles oh it's a bridge I'm sorry okay um then here's my ear sack this is my second tarp that I put up high that that would be the first thing I'd pull out and hang up if it was raining and then I'd be able to do everything else underneath it. I got a big Agnes. That's 40 degree. When are you planning to start? Well, you're going to section, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to section. And and I the thing is, is I was planning stuff for this weekend too. There's some things like I don't have any extra clothes in here because I w wasn't going to wear them. I was just going to sleep in my clothes overnight. And uh, so I would carry probably a pair of shorts, another t-shirt, and an extra pair of socks. That would be what I would carry as far as extra clothes. I'd, I'd be wearing most of the time um, tactical pants and um, some kind of a moisture wicking t-shirt. So those would be your, I need to get dry clothes. Yeah. yeah. So, um, got a sham wow. <laughs> um, my electronics are inside. I have, this bag has a slack pack bag attach the inside of it that you can pull out so i could take that are you what's that the, the slack, slack pack bag. yeah it's part of the backpack and then oh. you can you could just pull it right out you just t pull it right out and so if you're gonna slack pack you, j you have the pack with you to go for the day okay. and the only thing on the slack pack bag is usually whoever's slacking you has bags that you can use just just fyi so yeah this is all i have for my electronics i got you i i look I look on these. The reason I have this is I like to have be able to look at my phone with some with a leash. So. And also too, if you have a longer, you can charge on the go while you're walking. If you have a longer cord. Then this is my underquilt. This oh. I I do have one of those cinch sacks. I probably could put this into it and and drastically. So if you need the spice, that's the best way to do it, isn't it? Really. That's synthetic, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, it's synthetic. I'm not sure what. The, I I think this is a 20. The other night it was fine. Um. Along with my 40 degree sleeping bag, yeah, I was I was fine in there. So. Um. Then in the bottom, I do have. Well, that saw that's over there that we've been using that goes in the bottom here. I do have a sleeping bag because my um hammock can also be used as a tent 
so I have a sleeping pad just in case. This is heavy, I know it is. It was just the first one I bought just to see what, I, what I'm going for. Wow, I'd leave the saw at home. <laughs> You're not gonna use it. I did, I do. I like, yeah, I enjoy having it. And then I, I carry a knife and. Have you used a sleeping pad with your um, hammock? No, no. And, and then this, this has a. Wow, so you got two saws. Yeah, so, somewhat, but this, this wouldn't. What do you use it for? Cutting, just cutting wood for fire? I, what, the knife or the? The saw. The saw, yeah, just for fire. And I do, like I said, when I'm out by myself, I, I like to build a fire. It's just one of those, that's a security thing for me. Yeah. Have a small fire going, as long as it's, it's clear around it while I'm, while I'm there sleeping. To me, it's, it's, it's a comfort thing. And up, up on the Finger Lakes Trail where I'm at most of the time, I'm uh, in pretty good shape as far as uh, not having to worry about fires flaring up. So unless there's a burn ban and then you just can't do it, so. So I would, I also do have a, I have a hat that's, I got it, my wife got it for me in Australia. It completely collapses, but it's a, has a brim all the way around. The bug net fits right down over that thing, perfect. So I have that as well that goes with me. My sunglasses are magnetic. They go right onto my frames. They just click right on. So it's really thin. Uh, and is actually, the, this, this is the reason why I got those ones. Um, Trying to think what else. Is there anything that you have that you question? Uh, I know the sleeping pad. That that's a big one. Uh, Why the sham while? The sham. It's my towel. Oh, you're okay. That's that's a towel I use. And why do you need a towel? Yeah. I guess I'm thinking if I can need to wipe um, wipe down my gear that's wet before I throw it in my pack. So my recommendation for it, if you want to have a rag to wipe down stuff with, the sham wow is good because it's super absorbent, Yeah. but you don't need all of it. Right, because like, it right. Once, once, it. once it gets saturated, you can wring it out and just keep wiping, because yeah. um, I have the same thing. So. That was quite substantial. Yeah. But if you're using it like a towel for yourself, um, well, well, that would be yeah, yeah. that would be different, but yeah. that's just a personal What'd you preference. Would cut it, Austin, or get it? Yeah, just, just cut it. See, that sucker's heavy. Yeah, I mean, I think that's almost the definition of the, the cliche. You're packing your fears because you know you've got you've got yeah. two whole shelter systems available because you've got the convertible one, but it adds this weight. And then yeah, my first aid's all in here. For, well, first aid and so yeah, some other. The, I got like even a cold compress. I have some gauze. Um, I got some band aids in here. Uh, my ibuprofen and some allergy meds and my whistles in there as well so uh well here's something i everybody just i just want everybody to think about you don't have to change anything your first aid should be where you can't access it if you fall i my first aid fits in my fanny pack that's where my first aid is something that's always on my body mine's on my belt yeah and my whistle is where I could, where it, if I'm laying down or something happens to me, I could access it with my mouth. So because that's, you know, you're going to have to blow three times with, with all your might, probably, especially if you're injured. So just think about it. So your first aid should be where you can access it in case of emergency. Yeah, that could, that could guide your hip belt, couldn't it, really? Yeah. And then the thing is, in the fanny pack part, I have on, um, they're like, one is like little jelly bellies for, uh, like food? Yeah, like thing, you know, for electrolytes, um, little caffeine boost, uh, and then I have some Propel. I do have a, a cup in my, um, one of those collapsible cups in my food bag that I can grab and if I need to if I want to mix some of that up and drink it. Here's uh, another thing that a search and rescue individual told me. First aid kit, what if you're separated from your pack? Mm -hmm. So if you have a fanny pack, think about 
in the on the PCT, there's a lot of river crossings. You have to undo your belt. What if your pack went one way and all you had was what was on your body? So just packing wise, not telling anybody to get rid of anything, just maybe where you put everything. Yeah, and the, and the thing is with with the Eurosac, what everybody's worried about is if you take two slip knots, you make sure you do it, put one through the through the other like that around a tree, tie it off, then just put a carabiner in here. Bear's not going anywhere with it, it because as if they pull on this, it's you're, they're pulling on what's making it tighter, either way. So let me throw a carabiner on it so you can see how the. And remember, according to the company, little critters can get into your bear-proof Ursac and big critters bears can't get into the uh can get in vice versa so you're suggesting to use both one is oh no no i think you should pick your poison and decide what you're most likely to need to defend against well, i think it depends on what trail you're on is what you're saying really it's just so unlikely that you're going to have a bear problem so if it's that's a bear one, that's a bear one. yeah and no, I don't have I don't have a scent I don't have a scent proof bag. It's so worth it. They 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 weigh not very much. Yeah, I should I should get one for that. And I and I've hung that too. Yeah. I mean, if I if I if I if I have a good limb, I'll hang it. Yeah, yeah, you can hang. But one one of the things I do with that then is I between me and wherever I'm gonna use the restroom that night, I put it like in my path between there and my tent Very so nice. i ha so that i my headlamp will because the, it has reflect with reflective rope on it so it, it catches it, my light catches that any questions from anybody or mighty blue no I, i'm impressed for how everybody seems to watch yeah they're packed some much better yeah, than mine also i normally pack them down going somewhere